Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. We have a really cool project today. A lot of you guys have been sending me this image on social media. So I got all my buses together. Some of these I just picked up. And I've been trying to figure out, you know, what's going to be the truck, what's going to be the trailer. I stared at these for an hour, so I have my reasons. But I think this is going to be the truck. And I think this older matchbox is going to be the trailer. So that's the interior for what would be our truck. So that's cool. One thing a lot of people probably don't pick up on in the picture, unless you really look at it, is the truck part. The truck is actually shortened quite a bit. So not only are we going to have to convert this into a truck, but we're going to have to narrow the wheelbase as well to make it a little mini truck. So rather than stripping this right now, I think I'm going to just go ahead and start cutting it because then it's just going to be less paint to strip. So let's figure out how big this truck is going to be. All right, so I've got everything roughly marked out here. truck and trailer. So I'm going to start cutting, try to get everything into like a very basic shape and then we'll probably strip the paint off of this and keep pushing forward. Boop. Okay, finish these last couple cuts. Shorten this baby down. Maybe I'll just double check my measurement. Make sure we're good here. All right, now we gotta turn this mess back into a little truck. It's gonna be cool. Yes, yes, yes. I think this on its own looks cool. This is going to be kind of tricky just going off of one picture and it's not even a straight on broadside shot so we're going to just have to do a bunch of guesswork here. Alright so that's pretty close to where I think we're going to need it. I'm going to go ahead and strip the paint off of this now and we'll just continue working on it. Alright so I wanted to try something out. In the bodywork world nowadays when they're epoxying panels onto cars they flange them. So you can see here I've cut flanges on both sides and matching flanges on our box. So now when I glue this together, we have an overlapping joint and it's gonna be crazy strong. Push this out a little bit so it actually has to force itself in there. Ugh, it almost clicks in. It's gonna use a little bit of Insta set to kind of get this party going here. So being the crazy person that I am, I'm thinking I'm going to just putty this. Putty and putty. We'll do the whole thing. I'll be able to mold it and trim it. And before I start puttying, I'm going to just roughen up everything inside here with my file. I'm going to mix up some of this. So it's going to be our filler. I'm going to use some more of this high heat JB Quick Weld putty. Let me make a pretty good chunk. Take a chunk of this and see what we can do. I know this seems kind of crazy right now, but uh, I have a little faith. I have a little faith. We're going to make this work. So I've got way too much on here, but I think I got coverage in all the areas where I need it. So I'm going to set this on my little drying rack. This will be ready to go in about 10 minutes. Okay, this is hot, hot, hot. As you can see, it didn't take too long. I find using a sharp edge of a file and just dragging it on this putty really helps clear it away the fastest.
been quite a lot of work so far. I'm slowly working in the back of the roof here, getting things cut down. But yeah, I mean, it's coming along pretty good. Goes pretty quick, even with files. I don't use my Dremel very often, unless I need to define a line like you saw me do earlier. Then I'll just cut in there with the Dremel and then go to work with the files. So I'm gonna keep going on this, try to finish the back of that cab as nicely as I can before we go on to the next step. But so far I'm feeling it, I like it. There goes my glove. It's looking pretty good. It's looking like a little truck. Sorry about the nudity. Oh no. All right, I'm gonna start cleaning up the underside here. This is the little side cutting bit I always refer to. It's kind of like a little mill, a little milling bit. So I ended up using the last little bit of my JB Quick Weld putty on here. I had to mix up a little bit more and I threw out the rest. So that leaves me now with a little bit of a conundrum. Got some Millie putt, but I haven't tried it yet. So hopefully it works as good as this because I can file this, I can sand it. I can do quite amazing things with my JB Quick Weld stuff. So now hopefully this does a good job as well. So this will be the first time trying it. So, all right. Give me a little chunk of this hot dog here. I'm gonna take more than I need, of course. Hmm, stuff's soft. So that's a bonus. I like that. Easier to cut than the JB Quick Weld. Hot dogs, there we go. Oh wow, oh, oh my, oh it feels so much different. All right, I'm gonna say we're mixed up here. Just gonna grab a chunk of this. I'm just gonna start stuffing. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know if I like this stuff. Some of you guys might swear by it, but I challenge you to try the JB Quick Weld stuff. I think you'll like it. It really feels like I'm working with like children's plaster scene. So I'm gonna see if I can speed dry this like I do the JB Weld and then we'll go from there. Start carving this out. All right, so I ended up pulling all the Millie putt out of there. Um, that putty may be good for some things, but it's not good for doing this. It doesn't grip to die cast like this JB Quick Weld stuff does. I couldn't find the high heat stuff I initially wanted, but I did find this steel stick. So I started filling up our overhang and I'm working on the front wall here. So again, I'm just shaving it away slowly like I'm whittling wood and getting everything into shape. Got the doors shaved on the trailer here, kind of blended in my putty. I haven't done a finished sand yet, it's just kind of roughed in. Same with this, I did a little bit more work. Really trying to get a nice transition between the cab and then the back of my putty to make it look like it's just all metal. So that's my plan anyways. So I cut out a little bushing out of copper tubing and I'm just going to insert it in here and then once the glue's dry I'm gonna just drill the center of the little tube out. And that should give us a nice strong hitch. Not that we need a strong hitch but I just don't want this thing to fall apart. in there nicely so I'm going to just hit that with my drill quick there we go easy over on this end I just ran a piece of brass tubing right through my bed and that's going to receive our copper tubing 
for a real nice low profile hitching action. With the original base I wasn't able to just slam the body on this thing because of the clearance issues with the base. What I ended up doing was making my own base. This is, uh, I don't remember what this is, this is out of my junk drawer, this, this section, die cast. And then I kept the original bumper. So what my plan was is I'm going to fill this little hole and I'm going to paint, all the bases are going to be white here. So I can use the original hookups on the base. And that just fits in right to a little step, just like that. Got a nice axle placement point, really easy, really nice little trailer. Between that base and this base, we should have a pretty nice low rider system here. So I'm going to take a cotter pin and take a chunk out of it to get the center. And we're going to split the window on our trailer. I already cut out a little chunk here. I got to trim it into shape. All right, we got that glued in there. It looks a little bit better. I think Matchbox didn't do as good of a job as capturing the V-Dub feel as Hot Wheels did on this particular casting. Once that's hardened, we'll be able to get in there at the file and just kind of clean that up. Yeah, it's about as good as that's going to look. Shouldn't be able to tell once it's painted. Everything will blend together nicely, hopefully. So we're gonna mix up some sealer here. I'm using a gray just so I can see what's going on. Just reduce that. Okay, I finished the white part of our two-tone, both parts. Mm -mm. All right, so everything's looking really good here so far. Uh, I was just about to do a very light coating of some Cosmic Sparkle Silver, and then I'll do the final clear coat job to seal in all the little taillights and headlights and other details that I put on these so far. Well, it's been a long journey. It's almost that time. Just got a couple little things to do here. I, I got some little propane tanks. I think maybe we could just throw these bad boys on the back. Probably right in the middle is going to work best. Maybe off to the side. Yeah, that'd be better. Tweezies. Where are my tweezies? Those bad boys right there. Beautiful. Just wanted to get these tanks looking not, not quite as fresh. All right, I think we can do a reveal now. This is our VW bus camper package. I think it turned out pretty good. 
It was a lot of work, I'm gonna be honest. It was a ton of work. I never spent so much time on a project before and mostly it was just shaping everything that was putty, you know. We do have a couple of little accessories we could throw on here that were kind of just, uh, I don't know, let's call them afterthoughts. I have a little awning that I wish I thought about at an earlier date. Cause I could have made one. This is just off of another little trailer I had. It's an awning, cool idea. And I got a nice hardwood surfboard we could just throw on the top. I thought about cutting out the back window and having the surfboard come out of there, but I don't know, it's it's only cool if you got a surfboard in there. And I only have a couple of these right now. Custom made by my man Joe, so I'll leave that in there for now. And there's our complete unit. It's pretty sweet. Pretty cool idea. Uh, one of you guys posted this on the Reddit, like the actual van conversion. So that's where I got the idea. So keep that up, you know, post your ideas there of like crazy concept type chop up builds and uh, I'll grab stuff off of there in the future. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun on this one. It was a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun. Leave a like if you did. Leave your comments and I guess I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys.